Today, a new patch for Overwatch has been released, gone live, and this is pretty exciting because they have finally addressed two of the uh, more controversial characters in Overwatch. We got McCree and Widowmaker changes here today, and I'm assuming you guys have already read the patch notes. If you guys haven't, I'll go ahead and link them down in the description, but for today, I just want to focus on my thoughts on McCree's changes and what it all kind of means and the math behind it. If you guys want to see sort of what this means for Widowmaker, I can do that tomorrow, but I just want to focus this video on McCree. For those who just want a TLDR version of this video, well, uh, essentially, I really like the changes. I like the changes for Widowmaker. I like the changes for McCree. Now, today's video is just going to be focusing on McCree for now because uh, we do have a lot of numbers that I've kind of been crunching. So, just as a refresher, they basically brought the damage down per bullet from 70 to 45 when you're using Fan the Hammer. Um, they have since removed the awkward reload animation pause thing for his Fan, which is, you know, pretty nice since they have nerfed his damage to the point where a full cylinder will only do 270 damage instead of 300. And uh, the obvious benefit of this is that when you're trying to fan a 300 HP hero like Bastion, uh, you, you're going to have to reload or roll, which, you know, only takes a split second, but that split second will cost you some time, and time opens up variables. You know, you can get gunned down by the minigun or bursted down by their teammates. You know, it's a whole bunch of new things that kind of come up that doesn't exactly come up we can kill a 300 HP hero in one second. Uh, it's no longer sort of a single point and click death, you know, to those types of heroes. Now, the more not obvious stuff is that let's take a look at the flashbang, right? So, given that you're going to usually be using the flashbang in a combo, the flashbang will stun for 0.7 seconds. Now, with 45 damage a pop and 25 minimum, a rate of fire of 6 rounds a second, that means you can dish out 4 bullets in that guaranteed 0.7 second stun window on your uh, opponent or your target, right? 5 and 6 shots, 5 and 6 will still go through, but now you're sort of opening up the variables of the enemy not being stunned anymore. Because a full, like I said, the full cylinder for fan will take one whole second to complete, and the stun only lasts for 0.7 seconds. Um, you know, it, it, it may make you think that 200 HP heroes are slightly hard to kill now, especially the one with an escape or deflect, looking at you, Genji. However, if you look at most situations, you have to remember that you'll be using your flashbang as part of the combo, and that flashbang will hit for 25 damage, which will bring the 200 HP heroes into the 180 kind of HP kill range of the guaranteed stun duration. 150 HP heroes are fine, uh, you can still kill them, because with the flashbang, it brings it down to 125, which means you only need to land 3 out of the first 4 shots from Fan to kill uh, to kill a tracer. Assuming that, you know, three bullets will equate to essentially 135 damage, and you're sort of assuming, again, that the tracer took damage from the flashbang, bring her HP from 150 down to 125. Um, that, yeah, that, a, lot, a lot of numbers, a lot of numbers. But we're not exactly looking at all the variables here, because now we also have the bloom that is associated with Fan the Hammer. Uh, if you guys don't know, Fan the Hammer has a shit ton of bloom. And if you cannot land your shots in the first four shots, it, it starts to get a little tricky. I'm finding that Fan the Hammer is definitely not the point and click adventure it used to be anymore. Uh, especially with that bloom, man. That bloom really does it. I mean, if you just miss one shot, if you're going up against a 200 HP hero, you know, you really need all four shots to connect. If you just miss one of the four shots, the first four shots, you're instantly way worse off because now you're only going to be able to do one. 160 damage and now this is assuming you have the uh, three shots right plus the flashbang damage and you can only get in 160 in that 0.7 second window you have allowing heroes like you know Genji with 200 HP to do something you know dash away or deflect um, now I guess you could always roll for a second fan but fanning against a moving Genji that that's really kind of up in the air at that point I mean sure you will probably kill him maybe but a lot of times man I'm seeing Genji's kind of escape or get away 
or at least be able to move, so it kind of gets a little bit more scary once you start missing more of your shots. Uh, it pretty much means that McCree has to be very, very close for the flashbang plus fan combo to work well. Uh, fan doesn't work as well as it does, or as it did rather, at short, medium range. You know, I, I never, I know it never was meant to be used at medium range, but I feel like at the old 70 damage per bullet with the fan, uh, you had a lot more freedom and leeway when playing around the middle range there. You can kind of fan around and get some kills. Um, but the biggest thing that I'm noticing is that against a Mei, at 250 HP, it's a lot more of a toss-up with McCree. Now, the combo itself, McCree's combo with the flashbang and the, uh, and the six shots, that is more than enough to take out a Mei. You know, it will do 295 damage, but a Mei isn't just gonna sit there and take it. Uh, she basically has Cryo Freeze, and given that the flashbang will only last for 0.7 seconds, and to unleash all six shots, or, or uh, in this case, I guess, with flashbang, you're gonna need at least five, um, only the first four will be able to get out before she cryo freezes, which will leave her with a sliver of health, but she will survive. And that sort of makes this whole matchup a lot more of a toss up than, you know, definitely in McCree's favor. You know what I mean? So, May is going to be an interesting matchup to go up against as McCree. I'll have to kind of see how it plays out. But yeah, that's just sort of all I have for today on the changes for McCree. Uh, it went through all the different numbers of, you know, a lot of the characters that I could think up of. I'm sure there's a lot more instances that I didn't mention here. And if I got any of the numbers wrong or any of my calculations wrong, please let me know down in the comments as soon as you can. Because, um, yeah, it'll be embarrassing if I just got the numbers wrong this whole time. And uh, yeah, I'll remake it if it's really horrifically incorrect but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, little snippet of the patch notes that i kind of reviewed here it's just of mccree if you want to see widowmaker let me know down in the comments and uh until next time guys i'll see you around